Hello everyone, it's James Beasley from Six Group. Welcome back to the Weekly Bees for this week. I have another message today. We've been experiencing quite a lot of feedback actually from um, our suppliers, from other firms and consulting firms, uh, from contractors and various other things, and also just observing what's happening in the marketplace today. And I think uh, one of my points I try to at least educate everyone here at Six and with my clients is, it's very difficult in these times to, to really see the wood for the trees and to take a step back and really look strategically about what impact this situation is going to have on the company, both short term but also medium term. And what, what I mean by medium term is you know, what happens af after the next three to six months. What we're finding at the moment is that I have seen very large companies uh, through to very small companies get affected by this, but it's the large companies who have built themselves to a sustainable level where they've got very strong cash reserves, they've uh, got an ability to ride out this particular crisis uh, because they've got the support structures to be able to do that. But it's these companies that have spent many years in some cases building these ecosystems of suppliers, of contractors, individuals, clients and, and customers that help make them become the successful companies that they are today. We deal with a number of them. And I think in these times, what we're finding is that because of this crisis where they've had to send a lot of workforces home uh, for the first time ever to work remotely, there's this um, overriding sense that they just need to stop and halt everything um, and I can understand that in some instances but what we're finding is what's going to be the impact of that beyond this crisis because there will be a beyond this crisis whether that's changing the behaviors in how we work and, and what we do but there will be a beyond corona what we find is these ecosystems have all been set up where they're all interdependent on each other but mostly they're fed upstream by the bigger companies who then provide the work and the opportunities for smaller and medium-sized enterprises to either supply services, supply goods, um, or whatever. And it's that ecosystem that creates and drives the economic growth that actually we've all been seeing across the last two to three years. Now, though, what we're finding is that the pressure of everything just stopping um, is actually slowly, uh, in some cases, and in other cases, very quickly uh, breaking down and eroding those ecosystems. And the danger that is out there for larger organizations is that all the work they've put into developing relationships and getting those relationships to really understand their business so that they can actually supply services and goods to the level of expectation that they need and to a level that actually makes them very successful um, is at great risk of being lost. And it's at great risk of being lost because those companies operate on far thinner margins and, and are really hurting at this particular point in time. And so speaking to some bigger clients today, we were discussing this to say, well, and they were asking me for my advice on what do we do? And, and I was saying, well, th this, is, this is actually a time where you really assess who within those ecosystem of partners and suppliers, customers and clients are the ones that are actually the, the, the primary drivers for your, for your growth and your sustainability. In a lot of cases, you know, and not just speaking for Six Group, but speaking for, for our industry, in a lot of cases, it is actually the talent and recruitment and resourcing companies that are the real driver and engines of growth and sustainability for a lot of companies, not to mention accountants and all the other services and legal advisors and consultants and various other things as well. But what we're finding is that these organizations who rely on upstream bigger corporations for this uh, are now finding that these opportunities are, are just not forthcoming. And the big risk I find is for my clients is that if they're not there and able to actually support these this ecosystem of suppliers throughout this crisis now they run the risk that actually those suppliers will be gone and if they are that creates an even bigger problem for them because it means they now need to go out to the marketplace and they need to re-procure those services they need to find other firms that they can then build the trust up 
build the relationship, build a, the knowledge that these suppliers have of being very successful, of working with these companies to get them the outcomes that they need, which in turn make them as successful as they are. So it's a really difficult one, but it's one which I would appeal to a lot of the larger corporations out there that to really, really think and assess your ecosystem of suppliers and clients and candidates to look at which are the ones that are really strategically driving your business forward because now is the time to really double down on the efforts of looking at talent markets to see who's out there getting your talent teams prepared helping HR to navigate their way so they can focus on this crisis but still give them an opportunity to strategically look to the future as well. And at the same time, you'll also be supporting that eco structure, that ecosystem, sorry. Um, and, uh, and when this thing does turn around and we do get to the other side of corona, then you will have your ecosystem intact. You'll have those relationships as loyal as ever, if not more than before, and still being able to then exploit the opportunities that um, a fast growing market will be able to provide uh, post corona. Thanks very much for listening. If you've got any comments, I'd love to hear them. And if anyone would like to speak to me as well and, and learn a little bit more about how we're helping clients through this and, and some of the ideas around what I've just spoke about, then please put them down below and I'd uh, love, to, love to hear from you. All the best. James Beasley, Six Group. This is the Weekly Bees.